What makes Vegas tick? It depends on who you ask. What makes Vegas tick is the uh, people that come here. What makes Vegas tick? I think it's Vegas' ability to reinvent itself. What makes Vegas tick is I think the people that work in Las Vegas. The water and, and the water system that we maintain here, that's what makes Vegas tick. What makes Vegas tick? I think it's an obsession for food. Chefs saute and stir, trying to fill an insatiable appetite. It's a busy Saturday night. And workers rush to deliver fresh arrivals of fish and flowers. Vegas is a 24-hour city. There is something to distract you, entertain you, and keep you rolling every hour, day and night. And if you're gonna keep up, you gotta fuel up. In the days when the Rat Pack and Elvis ruled the Strip, visitors expected cheap rooms and cheaper food in return for dropping some cash at the blackjack table. Las Vegas at the time was the king of the buffet. It's a city known for its 99 cent shrimp cocktails. If you were eating gourmet, you were eating hobo steak and a Caesar salad, and that was considered gourmet. But in 1992, everything changed. Wolfgang Puck raised the stakes for everyone when he opened an outpost of his legendary restaurant, Spago, in Caesar's Palace. Wolfgang Puck really led the, the groundwork for what would be this great restaurant revolution in Las Vegas. Elizabeth Blau restaurant consultant and entrepreneur. It really opened the floodgates for what would become this evolution of chefs migrating to Las Vegas. Fry them for another 30 seconds and then flip them around a little bit. Is it complete yet? Okay, Clark, everybody has wine, water. Excellent. Executive chef David Robbins keeps Wolfgang Puck's six Vegas restaurants on short apron strings. Uh, I had spent 10 years in San Francisco. By a fluke, I met Wolfgang and was offered an opportunity to come to Las Vegas. When he first invited me to come to Las Vegas, I was really kind of mind boggled. It was really uh, the land of frozen fish, uh, old vegetables. And at that point is when we realized we were gonna have to be innovative. Now I consider us a, a destination spot as much as New York or, or Los Angeles. They're they paid, they're done, go ahead, break it down, open it up, yeah. Tonight, he oversees a private party at Spago for celebrity cyclist Lance Armstrong. Shelly and Tate, are we ready to roll? We are. All right, tonight we're making appetizers for Lance Armstrong. We're very fortunate to have him in the house. Tate here is gonna make some great appetizers for him. One of his favorite is a mushroom tart, and Tate's been working today making them nice. We have some fresh morels with some goat cheese. They're gonna be warmed up and served warm. Fantastic. At the Venetian. And here's the best seafood on the West Coast. Tom Maloney has his hands full with his own VIP guest. Thank you. My name is Tom Maloney. I'm the executive chef of Aquanauts here in uh, Venetian. Oh, you got the light box out here. We're going to set up over here. I'm doing two parties tonight. We have one uh, kind of a cocktail party up front in the bar, and then we're doing a, a dinner service afterwards for like 50 people in the back. It's a busy Saturday night. Put it not in the plate. Don't put it in a pan and heat them up so and then put them out. Thank you. There's such an influx of uh, restaurants happening now. It's, it's, it's a really nice time to be in Vegas. And there's this? always time for a wine tasting. This is 1982 Lafitte that someone had the pleasure of ordering. So I get to taste. That's one of my fun things about the job. That's very nice. Both Maloney at Aquinox and Robbins at Wolfgang Puck have the pride and pressure of performing at the top of their game. Everything has to be done hot, everything has to be fresh, and done with quality. You see a big change in, in the what, what actually the guests are looking for in food. The palates are a lot more educated, they've experienced more things. But getting the product to satisfy those educated palates in the middle of the Mojave Desert can prove challenging. As you know, there's not any fish here in the desert. We're a city that um, does not have access to ocean and farming. So all of our fish is flown in uh, from Texas, from Hawaii, uh, from, uh, from Europe.
And Vegas couldn't tick without one of the most important people in the food chain. I work for Southwest Airlines Cargo. Holly. All the fresh seafood for the day for the Bellagio and the wind. Basically ship out and receive freight of all kinds, anywhere from fresh seafood, flowers, to furniture. Vegas has gone through a lot of changes in the last five years. Um, we're over 200 flights a day now, so it's continually growing. We are pretty important to the machine called uh, Las Vegas. You know, it is kind of amazing to think that we are here in the desert and we're able to have all these commodities come into us um, on a daily basis that are fresh seafood, our fresh flowers, to help make uh, Vegas what it is.